Today, I'll be sharing five ways to simplify your life, five ways to not sweat the small stuff. Lina Cola for Battles One. Lina Cola is the one. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all doing wonderful today. My name is Lina Cola. On this channel, I speak on psychosocial issues affecting humanity, as well as I motivate and inspire to help you along your journey. If those are things that interest you, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll never miss another video. So I'd like you to know that I offer memberships on my channel. You can click join beside the subscribe button to view the perks and select from the best offer for you. I can do anything in the freelance department so you can consult with me. Thank you so very much and I hope you enjoy this video. This is series five in a 10 part series and I'd love you to watch from series one because there is a whole lot of information that can benefit you or help you along your YouTube journey or your journey in this life. Thank you so very much. This is number one in series five. Smile at strangers, look them in the eyes and say hello. Why don't we look people in the eyes? What is preventing us from connecting with the people that we don't know. I don't really know the answers to these questions, but I know that there is virtual, virtually always a parallel between our happiness and connecting with strangers. In other words, it's just very unusual to find a person walking around with their heads down, frowning and looking away from people who is a peaceful, joyful person. I am not suggesting that you should expend tons of extra energy trying to brighten everyone's day or to be friendly. But I am suggesting here that if you think of strangers as being a little bit more like you, then you will extend uh, a warm energy towards them. You will smile, you will say hello, and you will have a little more respect and kindness towards strangers. We teach our children from very early, um, you know, to fear strangers, but we are strangers to someone else. Are people in danger from just looking at us? Are people in danger from just saying hello to us? We consider ourselves to be a wonderful, nice person. And so we should think of uh, others basically the same way. Sometimes we can measure the niceness within ourselves when we are nice to people that we don't know. It is okay to look people in the eyes, say hello, and even ask them, how are you today? It will be pretty strange for some because they were taught not to speak to strangers. When we first reach out to others, you'll also notice how nice and loving some people can be. And this will help you to gain some insights of your own happiness. Number two is to set aside some quiet time for yourself every day. Whether it is 10 minutes in worship, 10 minutes and during bath time, 10 minutes walking by yourself in the park, not speaking to anyone, it is vital to have or set aside those 10 minutes for yourself every single day. Number three is to think of the people in your life as babes and think of them as maybe 100 years old. This is a technique that has proven to be extremely uh, successful to release feelings of negativity towards other people. Think of someone who truly irritates you. Think of them as a tiny babe, and then close your eyes and think of them as 100 years old. You may be wondering, what's the reason for this exercise? When you look at a person as a tiny babe, you will see the tenderness in their eyes. Imagine the tenderness in their eyes. Imagine the softness of their skin. Imagine the innocence um, that they have within them. And then think of them as 100 years old. Then we will see the feebleness. We will see, you know, um, also the innocence of the aged. Okay, so this will help 
to drive more compassion towards that same person that irritates you because believe it or not all of us will be 100 years old whether alive or dead as time goes by if it is our goal to be more peaceful and loving then we certainly cannot harbor negativity towards anyone before we move on to number four i'd like to notify you that i'm an author of a children's book this book is entitled richard one simone this is an educational piece it will develop the mind of a child it will help them to think creatively and imaginatively so go now get your own copy from amazon for your little ones Number four is seek first to understand. Even in the Bible, you can find that it says that you need to get understanding. In all the getting that you're going to get wisdom and whatever you're going to get, you get understanding. It's essentially, seek first to understand implies mastering the idea that if you want quality fulfilling relationships, quality fulfilling communication with others, that you seek to understand them. When you understand what people are trying to say, what's important to them, where they are coming from, things will virtually fall into space with no complications. Number five is to become a better listener. I grew up believing that I was a good listener because I was always quiet. But over the years, I realized that I was not a good listener. I have become a better listener. And to, to be honest, I believe that I'm more of an adequate listener than anything else. In some ways, the way we fail to listen um, is effectively the way we live. We often treat communication as if it were a race. This may be difficult, but slowing down your responses and becoming a better listener aids you in becoming a more peaceful person. It is so true. And I'm learning this as I go on day by day that we should be slow to respond and we will find out that peace will be ours. Not only will becoming a better listener make you a patient person, but it will enhance the quality of your relationships. Everyone loves to talk to that person who truly listens. Click this next video on the screen. And if you love this video, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. I will see you in the next video.